Do you all remember Pitfall, the Lost Expedition? You know, it's the game where you... Uh, okay, yeah, no, probably none of you know what this is, and if you do know, I just validated all four of you in a weird way. Hi, how you doing? Yes, you aren't the only one. You know, normally with this series, I just explain the game and talk about it as some forgotten, unappreciated gem with a few issues holding it back, and woe is me, I am not a game industry sheep. I have class and taste like a real intellectual. Blah, 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 blah. But honestly, Pitfall is nothing special. The sixth generation of consoles had a million billion games, so yeah, maybe one or two of them went under the radar, and when I say one or two, I mean a lot. But Pitfall was a game I enjoyed as a kid since it's literally just an Indiana Jones platformer with fun action-adventure crap with item progressions, collectibles, a semi-open world to explore, power-ups, and fun charismatic characters with oversized man-mitten hands. And you know what they say about big hands, guys. Poor sales and no recognition. <laughs> But all joking aside, the game is fine. It's all right. It's got bright colors, monkeys, alligators that shoot you up into high heaven, and it fills the void. The best way I can describe this game is the less interesting Jack and Dax are in the gameplay department, but without all the collectibles and all that jazz, and then just a dash of Uncharted, but without the murder and the heads being blown off every five seconds. But because I loved this game as a kid, I just wanted to talk about it. Like, you'll probably never play it, and you can go your whole life without hearing its name ever again. But let me have this, damn it! This game was fun and wacky, guys! Gosh! And that's not me talking with my nostalgic, I played this game at 9 years old and I didn't know what a good game was at the time glasses. The overall reviews of this game were pretty solid, 7s and 8s out of 10s, and that's with it being on every platform. Although apparently there is a Game Boy Advance version that's kinda garbage, but the only thing I could find on that one was this weird Russian speedrun of it on YouTube. The more you know, I guess. But what I find funny about Pitfall is that it was published by Activision, who put out some pretty good games back in the PS2 era, but the game itself was developed by Edge of Reality. Now, forgive me if I've never heard of these guys before, but, um, like, who are these people? Oh my god, they did some ports, they did some licensing games, and that's kind of it. Like, who are you people? You know, Pitfall is just some old game IP that they decided to turn into an action-adventure platformer for the lulz, but man, there was some good fun stuff in this game, and it just sucks that it's attached to the most generic game concept ever conceived by man. It's just some loudmouth, overly animated dude saves the day with his big hands and also talking animals and magic and boobies. Groundbreaking concepts. So, no one really bought it, and I mean no one. Of course, at the end of the day, I can't blame people. The box art looked bland as hell, and there were tons of better games that easily overshadowed it. But I still had just as much fun playing this as any other great platformer back in the day. Heck, the game was pretty challenging, too. Of course, most of the challenge was just figuring out where to go and being able to see, because holy crap, some sections are dark. <laughs> But replaying this as an adult, it makes me wonder what other 6th gen games I missed out on. Like, not the obvious ones that didn't sell well, but ended up being one of the greatest games ever made that kissed you on the mouth and cured all the world's diseases, but the games that are just okay, that are fun, alright, just standard good. Because Pitfall is one of those games, and it's just a shame people forgot about Nathan Drake PG Edition, but then again, I can see why people forgot about it. And thus, my childhood was revisited. I'll tell you, replaying this game as an adult was really a trip. I do remember I remember having such a difficult time with it as a kid, maybe because I was like super stupid and uh, I couldn't read very well and I was smelly, but uh, whatever. This game was tough as a child, I don't know what the heck happened, I still had trouble with it playing it now. Maybe it's because I'm not very smart, I don't know, regardless. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and uh, shameless plug coming in guys, because we all love these things. This channel is sponsored by Gamefly. Gamefly is a great cheap way to rent out new games so you don't waste 60 bucks on trash you regret buying. Seriously guys, uh, I recommend using this because we got like Horizon Zero Dawn that just came out. That's apparently really good. Nier Automata is coming out. Yes, I finally figured out how to say Nier Automata. Congrats to me. Yay. Uh, Niho is out. You got Kingdom Hearts. Uh, you know, the, the, the freaking new Legend of Zelda because everyone's nutting over that right now. So yeah, use Gamefly to rent out at least one of those for free. It's a 30-day free trial. Give it a shot. Seriously, it, it's, it's worth it. Come on, guys. Come on. Do it for me. Do it for me. There's also a new For Beginners out. You can go ahead and check that out. Follow me on the social medias, the Twitters, the Twitch, all the things. Please, I'd really appreciate it. Do the things. Click the links. Uh, get out of here. I don't, I don't know. Video's over. All right. Bye. 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 Bye.